Hey guys, Abraham here with Salmon Homestead over at the in-laws greenhouses and as you can tell I have my hands on the heater here. This greenhouse has plants in it now. This is what we call our cold house but we do put some heat in it as in like today it's only like 36 degrees so we want our plants to be a little bit warmer and let me show you what we got in here this morning so far. So these that you see on the floor here, these will be used about mid-May. What is in this? Well, this is considered a combination of different flowers that will pop out of the black pot. And when we pop out of the black pot, we put it into a bigger planter, and then that's what will be used for around mid-May. What, what's gonna be in there, we're gonna have something tall that's in the middle. And then on the edge, we'll have some super bells or super tuna, tunias, uh, verbena, cool looking colors like that, all different combinations. So we pan them in small pots to go in a small area, and they'll gradually grow, and then eventually we'll put them into some bigger pots, and they'll be looking awesome come that second-ish week of May. We have hanging baskets in here as well. If you notice, they are really tight in here. It's the cold house, they're not gonna grow very quick, but we want them ready for later on, so that's why we do have them planted already. They'll slowly grow, and come that mid-May, they're gonna look awesome. So what do we have? We have different selections. This one here is called Beach Sunset. Here's another one for you. It's so you. And so many of you have seen some of the hanging baskets that are inside. They look really cool, already throwing some awesome color. Well, those will be for sale early. And then we need something to come up later. We plant them now. They're gonna grow slow, and eventually they're gonna just overwhelm these pots. So it's on both sides right here as well. This has them as well, and you can see they all have a tube in, and that just works really well. Put the garden hose to the end of the black tube, let it run slowly, water comes out the little hole, and then they get watered. This is our second crop of alyssum. You can see they look really tiny yet, but when the first group is sold and almost gone, these guys will be timed perfectly to come out when people are looking for some more alyssum. White, pink, purple, really nice colors. And last but not least, we also have some smaller hanging baskets that are sitting back here. Nice and close, just gonna slowly grow. And these will again will come out come the beginning of May, mid-May to uh, fill in those spots where we have other hanging baskets that are already sold. Today, I understand there's quite a few plugs that have been delivered. Uh, these plugs should be plugs that we put into the four packs. So I'm grabbing the four pack trays. There's 12 four packs in a flat. I'm gonna be starting with the petunias and then eventually moving on to a few herbs. So the pansies and the violas, they're gonna start in this cold house, and then eventually when we need the space, we'll kick them outside. 
onto to some rolling benches. If needed, we will be able to roll them into the garage or the shed if we really had cold, cold temperatures. But for now, they'll start in here, and that's why we're gonna plant them right here. Get them a nice, good, warm start. So what am I gonna do with this pointy thing right here? I'll show ya. You line up a corner, line up another corner, sort of push a little bit. Squeaky is good. It's almost like you're eating a Wisconsin cheese curd when I, when I hear that sound. Squeaky squeak. Okay, well I got my ends. Now watch this. That whole group comes out and now I can just plant those. All right, so I have my tray right here. So you just take your hand and flatten it off. And then I'm gonna take this cool thing. I think you guys saw me use this last year. It has four this way and then it'll be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 this way. Press it in. I'll show you those holes in just a moment. Let me punch this one here first. Okay, set that aside. And I'll show you a little closer there. So look at those little holes. So now that's where I'm gonna put my little plugs into. So I grabbed all those babies that I pulled out and now I just plunk them into the holes. I'm right-handed, so I'm just gonna hold mine with my left hand. And then I'm gonna grab, just grab another bunch. Now I can just plunk them in. And let me show you how I'm pulling those out right there. Just grab them by the top, and just pull right up. Petunias, a really hardy. Um, the holes are there, it makes it awesome to put in, but really if you wanted to and you were just wanting to get it done, you could just toss them on, just take them and just toss them on here. Chances are they would make it. Now granted you may have one in a four pack and maybe seven in another four pack, but that's how hardy a petunia is once it's growing you can just, it, 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 you can, it's hard to kill. It's, it's really, you know, if you're like, every plant I get, I, I kill. Well, grow a petunia. It's gonna, it's gonna grow for you. You're not gonna kill it. So just one tag in a, in a four pack. There it is, hurrah white. Excellent plant, uh, plant along a border. Or if you're doing a layering technique on the edge of a plant, on the edge of a planter. Take these and set them down. You may wonder this petunia is a, is a 10 to 12 for length, height, I guess, and full sun. And if you would want more blooms, you would deadhead it as well. All right, there it goes. So I think I'll get you on a time lapse to crank you through this greenhouse and it's gonna be uh, today, tomorrow. We'll see where the next 
Because remember, I only come in for a partial days with homeschooling and stuff. So um, we'll see. We'll see when it gets done. But it's easy. It's relaxing. And put you on a time lapse, and I'll probably turn on some tunes. just finished planting all of our hurrah petunias in colors including white, red, blue, pink, and salmon. And now we're going to move on to the madness petunias. As you can see, we are coming along almost completing the cold house here. The petunias have been finished and the violas are completed. And I'm just about ready to finish up the flocks. It's time to move over 300 12 inch hanging baskets to the last greenhouse that is gonna get the heat turned on for the greenhouses this year. So we load them onto the trailer, pull the trailer over to that greenhouse, unload them and then come back and make another trip again. So we'll do that for a little while. 